Tina McCarty, and I'm the residential director here at Sedona Sky Academy. A lot of times we are, you know, kind of the last step. No parent wants to send their child away, and they do fear asking for that help. Um, so we reassure them that it's okay, you know, it's, it's not any fault of your own. It's okay to ask for that help, and they send their child here, and it's really, you know, Kind of like the saying that it takes a village. Um, that's what we have here is all the support from the academic, from the clinical, from the residential, being in contact with the families and really helping them to change that dynamic that really wasn't working, um, both with the student and the families. A lot of times um, trust has been broken. Um, in the program, the way it's designed, it's a step-by-step -step process. They start out with small visits and they work their way up to home visits as well as through family therapy. They may come out for a visit and it might be a two-hour visit at first and that might go really bad. And then they come out the next time and it's four hours and it goes a little bit better. You know, still maybe not great. And then the next time they do an off-campus and it starts to get better. So it's through that whole process. Um, and it's just time. And that's one of the great things about our program too, being a little bit longer, there is that time and that structure built in to have that kind of step-by-step -step process. So it's not like they're expected to just trust their daughters right away. You know, their daughters are going to fall. They're gonna make mistakes, but it's a safe place to make those mistakes and to learn from it. What I always tell parents is, that's great that they're making mistakes. If they came and everything went perfectly, then we wouldn't know what they needed to work on. So, and we can help them through that um, and know what they need to work on, help them through that in a safe place. All the departments work together to help the student if they are struggling academically. Residentially, we're going to support that. Um, they have homework time in the evening. So we're going to help them, tutor them, answer questions as well as just making sure that they're doing their homework, being there for guidance. If there's behaviors that we're seeing residentially, we will let the academic team know too, because that might affect what they're doing during class. So really it's a system where we communicate and we all work together in the departments to help um, individualize the needs of each student. Graduations are my favorite. It's really amazing to go and see that family dynamic and how it's changed. I do interact with parents a lot, but to really see them get on stage and the pride in their daughters of their accomplishments and then to see their daughters get on stage and you know, going from, oh, I hate my parents to really realizing you know, that they did it because they love them and that they saved their lives. And a lot of times we hear that with the students, you know, you sent me away, but that saved my life. And I appreciate you so much for that. It's really great to see that change. If you're struggling, come check us out. Come meet the wonderful staff that we have. Come see the students, get a feel for our campus. You will see that we do amazing things here and we transform these lives and we can help you get your daughter back.